this is what I often use, or this is what I always use instead of layer mask. And you can do this with everything. You can do this with painting a certain color into an image, painting mist into an image, adding contrast to an image. You can name it. You can do it with this technique. So for example, if I use the unique contrast control technique, then I always have two different images. So I'm going to copy paste this image into a new tab. I will make this one darker. And now after I made it darker and less contrast, I want to paint in certain bright parts into this image. And this is over the top, of course, but this is just for illustration. So we have this original bright image and I want to copy, uh, sorry, I want to paint in certain bright parts, like I said, which will give a better contrast. Um, and I want to do that with the clone stem tool. This is the clone stem tool. So I want to do I want to paint into this dark image. In order to do that, you have to go to the bright image and then you go to one certain pixel. And I always go to a pixel in the corner because then it's really easy to find that pixel because you have to find the same pixel in the other image. But first let's go to this corner and then we go to the clone stem tool. And by the way, make sure that this roster or how you call that thing has been selected. You go to view, then you go to show, and then you have to make sure that the pixel pixel grid, this one has been selected. Because now it's more easy to see the pixel. Okay, now we have the close up tool. You hold Alt, you hold Alt, you can see it. Now you can see the cursor. And after you hold Alt, you press the left mouse button uh, in the upper left uh, pixel. Now you go to the other image. And as you can see already, the other image is now in, in the middle of the diameter of your clone stem tool. When I click this image again, for example here, now you can paint. As you can see, this is the bright image. But as you can see as well, it's not aligned um, because I clicked it here. It's away from the upper left corner. So that is what you have to keep in mind. You have to select the same pixel. So first Alt, now we have selected the pixel. Don't click yet, just go to the same pixel, same corner. You go back to the clone stem tool. Now. You can see it. You don't hold Alt. Now you only press the left mouse button. And now it is there. Now you zoom out and now you want to go one step back. Because as you can see, the upper left corner is bright because you press that upper left pixel. So we go one step back right now. And now we're going to do the painting, which is called the unique contrast control technique. All right, now let's also do the same thing with a certain color. Let's say you want to add some mist. Okay, you want to add some mist. In that case, you go to one certain pixel of the image. Preferably, it's going to be a pixel that has the color of the mist. So actually, you want to have something a bit darker, a bit more blue. For example, this one. You're just going to copy paste this pixel into a new tab right here now we have a one by one pixel you can barely see it if you zoom in we're gonna make this one bigger we're gonna make it bigger depending on how big your image resolution is let's say you have uh, a 6000 by 6000 pixel photo then you can say well and, oh yeah, and you want to add mist to a small area you only have to do it uh, maybe 2000 by 2000 anyway you have to make sure it is big enough otherwise it's gonna be a bit difficult um, but now we have an image uh, of 4000 by 4000 with this certain color. Now you can fine tune the colors. You can make it more blue, of course. You can go to color balance. You can make it more blue. You can change the saturation, etc. So until you have the right color tone. All right, now you can go again to the clone stem tool. And this time you don't have to go to the upper left corner because it is mist and mist is just mist 
in the first place. In the second place, it is with the unique contest control technique, you use the same image as you can see. And this is not the same image. This is just adding some a certain light or a certain color to the image. So let's press this one. And now you can add that mist. Well, the technique of adding mist, that's a different one. That is something you will see in my videos. But this is the way to do it with the clone stem tool. And the same goes for light. So this one, if this will be uh, light, you can just think about bright, warm color. And then you can also do that with the clone stem tool.